everyone, it's Kim. And I'm Jen. And welcome back to another episode of Girlfriend We Feel Ya. So today, um, I thought it would be fun since we're, I don't know, this isn't necessarily spring oriented, but we're moving into spring. People are spring cleaning and changing, you know, changing. Yeah. So um, I uh, am a photographer, as most of you know, but I also own um, a vintage business called Kimmy's Killer Vintage. And so um, I just thought it would be fun to kind of talk today about repurposing things and um, ideas to kind of um, reuse things in a different way or just bring life to something that you may be tired of or you know maybe you're thinking of throwing it out and there's a way you can save it and make it new again well, i'm excited about this topic because you know i'm always telling you i don't know like how to put outfits together and like what to wear and like kim always puts together the cutest outfits that i would never think of um yeah but you always look super cute thank you um, but you're just have this flair and creative and um, yeah, I need I need to come into my closet and repurpose some things. Okay, all right, I can do that. Okay, I can do that. Um, okay, so we're gonna start um, with things that are stained. Okay, so um, if you. So I know like years ago when I would get a stain on a white shirt, you know, that I would work on and I just couldn't get it out, I would just have to donate it or toss it, you know, because you really can't wear that again. Um, so I really want to talk about dying things. So these, for example, um, recently um, my stepmom passed away, um, but she... Oh, this goes in. Yeah, she held on to everything, okay? So I raided her closet and found a couple of pairs of like amazing jeans. So these are literally from the 70s. They're called disco jeans, but they have an ink stain on one of the butt cheeks. So I worked on this with stain remover, couldn't get it out. So I am going to actually dye these. I'm gonna do um, just an indigo or a denim dye on these, and you it'll know, like blend in. Yeah, right? so, so it'll just blend in with ink. the ink, and they'll still keep the original shape with the bell oh, bottoms, so cute. the pocket detail. Um, so yeah, if you have like a lighter wash of jeans that you've got some sort of weird stain on, or a pair of white pants think about dyeing them a different color because it's super easy. You can go to a ton of different, you know, YouTube channels, websites to find out how to do that. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is um, thinking outside of the box with, for example, items that, you know, may be worn for lingerie. Think about wearing those during the day. And, and I mean, it, it, this is not a new concept. I certainly didn't come up with it, um, but I love it. Um, so this, for example, is a vintage, I'm guessing this is probably from the 50s or 60s, little bed jacket. Uh, adorable. It's super cute. And it's really on trend right now because like the lace is really big, the flowy kind of peasant look to it. Um, you can see a little more up close. It's got little cute multicolored polka dots. I would just throw this on as a top. Now, would you do like a regular bra, a lacy bra, tank, or do all of the above? You know, um, I like to show a little skin in the summertime. I really do. So I would probably just do like a fun, I would probably throw like a colored bra on underneath this. Like I'm thinking right now, um, I have like a little mustard yellow. Mm -hmm. um, looks kind of sports bra -y, but it's still a little sexy. I might put that on under it or just a um, ivory lace okay. underneath. But you could certainly wear it open with a little tank top under it as well. Cute. Yeah, very it cute. doesn't fit me, it's too small. Otherwise I'd be <laughs> keeping it. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is, um, <laughs> so I love 
to cut things. Like I love to just chop the shit out of clothing. Um, now I do know how to sew. I have a sewing machine and sometimes, um, you know, I'll take the time to put a, a simple hem in it, but most of the time, girl, I'm just going to cut it at the bottom and then do a French tuck, which is what I did. So I was thrifting and I found this nightgown. So this was a longer nightgown and I didn't like the bottom at all. It looked very dated, but I loved the ruffle. I loved the trim. I just, and I love the fabric. It's so soft and flowy. So I cut this off and made it into a top. And then I just French tuck it into a pair of high waisted jeans and it kind of falls off the shoulder a little bit. It's really sexy and sweet, very feminine. So, I mean, the next time you're at the Goodwill, pop on over to that, you know, PJ nightgown section and see if you can find something like this. Because these shirts, these types of shirts are in the stores everywhere right I now. I would have never thought to do that. I love doing that. When you say French tuck, is that just tucking in? Just tucking it in the front. Just, okay. And let the back yeah, kind yeah. of be loose. Um, same thing, here's another item. Now this is just a sweatshirt I bought at Target. Um, it's that Universal Thread brand, but I bought it because I had this really cool pair of high-waisted tie-dye like sweatpants, and I couldn't find the right sweatshirt to go, to go with, with them because I wanted to show the really high waist. Um, so I just bought this and cut off the bottom. It's just, like really just short. literally straight across? Straight across, well, semi-straight. Right. I'm, I'm like the worst about measuring and stuff. There's a little like science. There's a little. There's a little science. I lay it down flat on a table and sometimes I'll put like a tape measure down and cut along the tape measure. Well, that but, sweatshirt you did for me, like I was blown away. I was like, oh, it fits so much better. Well, yeah, because you have longer arms and I knew already that the arms were going to mm -hmm. be short. So we just cut the cuffs off of it and like she did like a little roll up. It was really cute. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, now... These are fabric scissors, and I do recommend investing if you're going to be cutting a lot of fabric. Um, invest in a pair. They're not that expensive. I think these were like 15 bucks. But um, I used to use like just the shitty, you know, kitchen scissors. Mm -hmm. um, and then my life was changed. It was worth it. Yes, so worth it. Um, okay. So this, you guys, this is like my new favorite obsession. So this is a duster. It's like long, full length. It's from the 80s. It's got a split up the back. But when I found it at the thrift store, it was just like this really neutral cream color. And I just don't really do a lot of neutrals like that. Um, I wear other color, uh, other neutrals, but um, I'm not really a big cream person. But I loved the shape of it. It's like a thick cotton, almost like a, you know, kind of a lightweight canvas and the big pockets. So I did a little tie dye on it with a camel because, you know, that's still a good neutral. And now, I mean, I just throw it on with jeans, clogs is what I have on today, my brown clogs. That is so perfect. Um, and I'm going to wear it like all spring. Um, okay, and then this is also fun. Now you do need to have a little bit of sewing skill, like beginner level, nothing real advanced. Um, and I'll put a before photo in the video of what this dress looked like before, but it was basically this long kind of sack flannel dress. Um, but I loved the colors um, and I love the fabric. It's just so soft. So I made it into a two piece. Like I cut it and then sewed a piece of elastic into the bottom to make it like a little crop top and the skirt is adorable and it's got pockets. I wear it with like my black, kind of like little combat boots. Love. Um, 
Um, so yeah, just really think about how can you make something different? Like it may be a style, a shape that's out of style and you don't like the shape of the dress, but the fabric may still be really good. Um, and if you're willing to just, you know, put a little effort into it, you can really kind of transform things. And, you know, I could go on and on, but um, again, this is just another dress that I tie-dyed that was just like a cream. And yeah, that came um, out good. Huh? That came out good. It'll be cute this yeah. And so also, I love a good big blousy shirt and um, I actually do wear modern things as well, but I, I have a bit of an obsession with like the 80s. So this is yet another <laughs> 80s item. And so when I wear this, I just wear it, I tie it, I knot it up, and I wear it with like a pair of high-waisted jeans or a little like, I think I have a pair of polka dot um, kind of joggers that I think I got, I got them at the thrift store, but I think they're like that Lauren Conrad brand. They're really cute. So I just knot it. So you knot it in the front. I knot it in the front, like really a dramatic like knot. Pretty high. Yeah, so almost a little bit of your tummy is showing. It's really cute. And so knotting shirts like that, oversized shirts, like giving it a knot, can give it like an up, a quickly update the look, like really quickly. Yeah, I like that. Um, what like brought you to this? I mean, I know you've always been into fashion and vintage and um, like to repurposing clothes. Like, is this a newer kind of obsession or like this has always been? Well, yeah, I mean, I'd say it's old, but then it came back. Like, so when I was in high school, um, I really shopped at the thrift stores a lot. Mm -hmm. Like it was in Molly Ringwald, like that whole thing with mm -hmm. pretty and pink. And I was like obsessed with that. But I also just felt the most comfortable. Like I felt like that style back then was really me. Mm -hmm. So over the years, like with everybody, styles have evolved, you know, and, um, but I found myself always gravitating towards things that looked older. Like even when I'd shop at Anthropology, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted that. Yeah, I was paying like a hundred and something dollars yeah. for a jacket that looked like it was from the 70s, you sure. know. <laughs> so um, when I decided to start Kimmy's Killer Vintage a couple of years ago, um, I just kind of re-fell in love with, with that. And I also, I'm going to be really honest, like I like to have unique things that nobody else has. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what it is about me, but I don't want to wear the same things that everybody else has. I don't want to go to a party and three people have mm -hmm. on the same shirt that I have on um, because I really feel like fashion is just another way to be creative and really, you know, express yourself. I was just going to say that we talked about that before and I said, you know, you wear things I think look so adorable, but I'm like, I couldn't pull that off. And you said, yeah, you have to have, you just have to have that confidence, right? To pull something off. Yeah, you but you also, yeah, if you have to feel good in yeah. it, you know, and um, that's why, you know, everybody has their own unique style. And um, I think mine falls somewhere between like boho slash 80s. You know, I like to meld those things. Mm -hmm. um, but so, yeah, I mean, I just really wanted to um, do this video to kind of encourage everyone to play in your closet, you know, and just um, before you toss something out, think about like, why am I getting rid of this? Is it because it doesn't fit anymore? Or is it just because it needs to be updated mm -hmm. slightly? And is there a way I can update it? Um, and then also when you go shopping, whether you go to the mall or whether you go to a secondhand store, you know, um, when you're looking at things, you can kind of just like start looking at things in a different way. Like, you know, um, just because it's in the lingerie department doesn't mean you can only wear it to the bed, you know? I'm gonna start so, paying attention to that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And so we'll finish off with a tried and true look um, Jen has kind of a variation of it on today because this is really her jam. She loves t-shirts and she wears a lot of jewelry with her t-shirts. Um, so, and I love that too, but I love just a plain white Me too. 
t-shirt, like whether it's a beefy tee, hangs your way, free people, whatever it is, get yourself like a, a good white t-shirt and then um, dress it up kind of like I have today, like I've thrown on some gold chains um, and I have on high-waisted jeans and just my clogs, but um, it immediately <laughs> takes it to a different level. You feel a little spicy. Yeah, I walked in, I was like, ooh. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So, um, because I'm just such a fan of uh, jeans and t-shirts. Me like, too. You know, um, and truth be told, I have a closet full of shit that is like elaborate that I love because it's fun and beautiful. But I mean, I sport a very more casual look most of the time. Mm -hmm. So um, fun, chunky chains and different jewelry is a way to spice up anything. Big earrings. Yeah. Yes, I couldn't find any. Big I, earrings. Yes. Jenny from the block. Oh, like, nice. We're always channeling J-Lo with our big hoops. And that's another thing from the 80s. Like, it's just like, I was obsessed with them in the 80s. I mean, I had some, like, I found some old photos of me with some that, like, sit, like, way down on my shoulders. <laughs> so, so, wait, so your earlobe was probably like, Ugh. yeah, yeah. All right, so that's it for today um, for this one. And if you like this video, um, please give us a like, comment below if you want to see more videos like this and what topics you'd like to see. And, you know, show us some love and subscribe. Subscribe and make sure you check out um, Kimmy's um, Killer Vintage. The link is in the show notes below. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye.